Pirates. Nah, that's silly. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! You know what I realized makes this game a lot of fun? You mean the boss battle with Zavok? I'll just go over here then. The custom characters. We finally got an official Sonic game that really set in stone what a fan character should be. Of all the video game franchises we've had over the years, it's safe to say that Sonic probably is the one that really gets a bad rap. From the accusations of being a bad franchise because it made, like, one or two bad games, to the endless mockery directed towards its, um, interesting fan base, to say the least. Though I think it's safe to say as far as bad fan bases go, Sonic is definitely not alone. Last Jedi is the worst movie ever made! It ruined my childhood, and anyone who likes it is stupid! Get out! And as you guessed, the most infamous element of the Sonic fanbase is its seemingly endless supply of fan characters. Now, people almost always think of Sonic fan characters in sort of a negative way, which, in all honesty, is kind of a shame. Because from what I've seen, there can actually be some really good Sonic fan characters. In fact, I've seen Sonic fan characters that are so good, I've mistaken them from sometimes coming from one of the Archie comics or even one of the games. So what is it that makes these characters so well done? How do these work so well while other fan characters fall flat on their recolored faces? And most importantly, could anyone be able to make characters that are just as good as these? Well, that's for me to know, and you to figure out. Goodbye! But in all seriousness, that's why I'm here. For you, I've decided to do a full-length guide on how to make a Sonic fan character. How to create your own Sonic fan character! No, no, no. Not the sarcastic version. This is a real version. So what I'm going to do for this guide is I'm going to illustrate five different fan characters, or Mobians, as is the more simple and accurate term. And as I illustrate them, I'm going to show you how to properly handle certain elements such as proportions, abilities, accessories, species, coloring, etc. Even if Sonic fan characters have become the laughing stock of the fan base, there is a right way to do them. I mean, sure, you still have fans who draw a purple Sonic or an Amy with extra hair or a variant of Knuckles. Oh wait, that joke writes itself. You can make a Sonic fan character that's authentic looking and well drawn. I mean, if we're being honest, there's nothing more annoying and lazy than taking an already existing Sonic character, changing the color, and calling it a different character. Anyways, what are we waiting for? Let's get our drawing stuff together. Yay! First things first, it's very important that you get the proportions right when making your Mobian. This is one of the main factors of making your character actually look like they belong in the Sonic universe, and they can't accomplish that if they look like Sonic's face got slapped on a bodybuilder. So the first step in this process here is to really quick Google a picture of Sonic, pull up an image, and don't you dare save that image. All you should be doing with this picture is analyzing it. Really take in the structure of this character. Now to me, this is what makes the appeal of making a Sonic fan character kind of understandable. Even if each character is unique in their own way, there is sort of a base design under every single one. Big head, big gloves, big shoes, circular torso, and noodle arms. This is what makes up the anatomy of what's called a Mobian, aka what Sonic characters are. It's a design that's easy, but also fun to work with, and does look pretty cool. Okay, so since we're drawing five different characters, we also have to draw five different bases. So we're gonna try different poses for them all. Now, as far as these bases go, the only real difference between male and female is how the torso's shaped. With the male, it's gonna be a slightly misshaped oval that's just a little wider in the top area, but just by a little bit. You don't want exaggerated muscles or anything like that. Now with the female torso, you're gonna want just the slightest hourglass shape, but it's not as prominent as a human female. Remember, these are Mobians, not magazine models. Now here's another important part, the head. The head is literally just a giant circle to start off with. And 
and now let's work on the appendages for both the male and the female. No real difference between the two as they're both very skinny, just remember to position them in what's going to be a pretty cool pose. Alright, next up is the feet. You mean we can draw extreme close-ups of their toes? I'm starting to get the message now. As you may have figured out, Sonic characters pretty much always have shoes, but on rare occasions they sometimes have sandals, revealing that they, strangely enough, don't have any toes. Just little stubs for feet. So even though we're most likely going to give all our Mobian fan characters shoes, let's go ahead and draw the stubby big feet that Mobians always have. Again, no real difference between the male and female. Definitely strange that Mobians don't have toes. Did you know they actually play a heavy part in running? Kinda makes you wonder how Sonic goes so fast. Okay, so we got the feet done. Next up to draw is the... hands. Nope! Okay, so even the most experienced artists will tell you about the harsh difficulties of trying to draw hands. It's not easy, but it's not impossible either. Really the best way to do it is to just hold up your hand in the pose that you want and try to look back and forth while tracing it. Oh, and also hope that no one walks in while you do this, otherwise you're gonna look really weird. <laughs> so we'll start off simple by drawing fists on the first character. Pretty easy, really. Now for our female Mobian, let's try a thumbs up. Not too different, just move the thumb upwards. I look like I'm about to punch whoever walks in this door right now. Then, as is the thing with Mobians, we give them a muzzle. Not that kind of muzzle. I'm talking about an animal muzzle. You know, the area around the mouth. That's what this is right here. No matter the species of the Mobian, they pretty much always have this kind of muzzle. And now let's draw the eyes. Now I think it'd be best to give our Mobians individual eyes rather than the uni eye. Uni eye? Uni eye. Uni eye. Uni one eye. Just to make their designs as unrelated to Sonic as possible. Now the pupils are a bit tricky, but once you get this basic design down, every other character's eyes will be quite easy. Okay, so we finished every element of making a Mobian base, both for the male and the female. Now I'm gonna go ahead and draw three more Mobian bases so we have five in total. So we're gonna make two more males and one more female. And I'm also gonna draw all the elements we talked about just real quick.
Okay, so now we have five bases for our fan characters. We're off to a really good start. Now on to the next step. Anyways, this is the fun part, and also something you can sort of take a few liberties with since Moby and animals never really look like the animals they're supposed to represent. I mean, heck, just look at Sonic. How exactly does he resemble a hedgehog? And don't even get me started on Charmy the Bee. Anyways, let's start working on our five characters. Oh, hold on, I ran out of lead. Now there are three main rules I have when you're choosing the species of your fan character. Rule number one. Rule number two. Rule number three. If you are going to make it a hedgehog, you're going to have to work really, 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 really hard to make them not look like Sonic. And you may not believe it, but it is possible to make a hedgehog that doesn't look like Sonic. I mean, just look at Silver and Amy. They're both great characters, and they don't have to look like Sonic. So with our first base, we're going to make our hedgehog character, but we're going to try to give a fresh new design. For the second character, we're going to branch out a little bit, but still stick with a mammal so we're not getting too fancy just yet. I always kind of like the wolf from Sonic Forces, so why don't we make that our second fan character? And now we're going to take a stab at one of my favorite Mobians, the bird. I don't know why, but bird Sonic characters are just really cool looking. And I'm really glad they made that a species you could choose in Sonic Forces. So that is what our third Mobian's going to be. Now for our fourth character, we're going to choose an animal that really hasn't been done that much. So we've seen mammals and reptiles as Mobians before, but what about fish? I mean, that's something that really hasn't been done too much, isn't it? Since my sister Anna really likes narwhals, I think we'll go ahead and make that our fourth character. I mean, I can't say I blame her, they're basically underwater unicorns. Let's see, fifth animal, fifth animal, fifth animal. Hmm, gosh, what should our fifth animal be? Pig? Nah, that won't work. A uh, vulture? No, I already did a bird character. Maybe a kid? No, 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 no. It's gotta be something cool, something unique. The kind of creature that everyone undoubtedly really likes. Yo, 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 there's a spider in the kitchen! I got it! For our last character, we're gonna get really weird. Okay, maybe not that weird. I'm talking about choosing the species, and we sort of already thought outside the box when we did our narwhal character. But what if we went even further by choosing an insect? So our last character is going to be a spider. Oh, one second. Hey, sorry, man, what were you saying? Never mind, spider's gone. I'm moving out. Oh, by the way, spiders aren't insects. Now, this would be one of the harder creatures to incorporate into a Mobian. But hey, I'm confident we can work with a character that spins webs, has eight legs, and eight hands. I'll draw you if it kills me! Yeah, it looks 
looks a little strange, but I think it's working overall. For those of you who hate drawing hands, I apologize for probably choosing the worst character for that. But hey, that's nothing. Wait till I show you guys how to draw a Mobian who's a centipede. Now this is important because along with the species of your Mobian, this is one of the main things that really represents their identity. So depending on what you want your character to be, it's best to give them gear that kind of represents their overall theme. The Hedgehog will be a resistance fighter, the Wolf will be a runner, the Bird will be a pilot, the Narwhal is of course a swimmer, and the Spider will be a spy -der. Spider. Get it? <laughs> Now, here's the really strange thing about Mobians. Females pretty much always have some sort of outfit, but the males, they hardly wear anything outside of shoes and gloves. Don't ask me why that is. I honestly have no idea. Maybe it's a metaphor for men not having any sense of style. Okay, now that our Mobians have been given gear, I think it's safe to say that their line work is complete. But seeing how they currently look a little, um, sketchy. <laughs> we are now going to move on to the really fun part. Color is the main thing that sets certain characters from the rest. It's also the most fun part of drawing in general. Now here's something interesting to keep in mind. Almost every single Sonic character has what I call a dominant color. Like blue for Sonic, green for Jet, purple for Espio, so forth. This is something important to remember when you're coloring your character, as giving them too many colors will kind of come across as a little gaudy and way too showy. So try to choose one color for the dominant one, and maybe try to limit your palette to five colors maximum. Anyways, coloring is usually the part that I do digitally, so it's time for a digitizing montage. <laughs> fleshed out, fully drawn fan characters, and they don't look like complete garbage for the most part. 
So now that we're finished with these designs, it's time to come up with concepts outside of the drawing to fully flesh them out and make them interesting. I recognize that the three skill types for Sonic characters are speed, fly, and power. Or speed, power, and technique if you want to be confusing and stupid. Okay, to be fair, they did turn fly into technique to make sense of Team Sonic racing, so... Then again, they made Eggman technique. But anyways, choosing the skill type of your Mobian is a really fun part of making a character that, honestly, not a lot of fans consider. At least from what I've seen. Almost every single Sonic character is assigned one of the three main skill types. You can make your character any skill type you want, as long as it kind of makes sense. Don't be like Sonic Runners, where they make Blaze a power type, Silver a speed type, and Metal Sonic a fly type. What? What? Let's start with our Hedgehog. If you ask me, I think it'd be really cool to make him a power type. Like his spin dash attacks are less speedy and more heavy duty and impactful. For our Wolf character, we'll go ahead and make her a speed type since she's probably a quick fighter with the claws and the pouncing and all that. And I guess it kind of goes without saying that our bird character is fly-type, since he's... well, a bird. The narwhal is kind of tricky, but since we established she's got a powerful horn, I think we can make her a power-type. And lastly, I think the spider should be speed, since most spiders are kind of fast anyways, meaning this guy is bound to send anyone into a huge panic. Alright, one last thing before we call these characters good. We have to come up with names. Now, naming your character is a lot harder than you would think. Sonic characters work the best when they have the nickname type names, like Knuckles, and Vector, and Blaze, and Eggman. Okay, Eggman's not a good example, never mind. But you know what I mean. Also, there's a reason I saved coming up with the nicknames for last. That being, it's easier to come up with a name once the concept of your character is fully thought out. You make a blue hedgehog that goes fast, you call him Sonic. You make a fox with two tails, you call him Tails. You make a giant snake in a robot suit, and you call him what got you fired from Sega. You get the idea. So let's take a look at our character, shall we? Our hedgehog Mobian is a power-type resistance fighter who uses a spin dash combined with his grappling hook to become a swinging, smashing spiky ball. That's kind of similar to that one medieval weapon called a flail. Hmm... Flail the Hedgehog. Has a nice ring to it. I think we'll go with that. Everyone say hello to Flail the Hedgehog. Our Wolf Mobian is a high jumping speed type with light but deadly claws who pounces through her enemies and has gone without a trace. Trace. Hmm. Trace. Trace the Wolf. I like it. Give a warm welcome to Trace the Wolf. Our Bird Mobian is a gliding capable fly type explosive expert who single handedly makes bombing runs. Hmm. Demolition. Demo. Nah. Ditto? Ditto. That has a nice ring to it. Everyone, please welcome Ditto the Bird. Our Narwhal Mobian is an energetic, charging, lance headed power type powerhouse who loves the ocean. I'm thinking Epe from fencing terminology. We could even say she has a French accent. I mean, okay, I guess France doesn't technically exist in Mobius, but Antoine has a French accent, so explain that to me. Anyways, Epe the Narwhal. Be nice to her, folks. <laughs> oh, you bet I'll be nice to her. I've already drawn, like, five pieces of fan art with her, if you know what I'm saying. And lastly, the spider. He's a sneaky little trickster who, you know what? Let's just call him Weaver. It's catchy, it fits his spidery character, and it's actually a real name. Speaking of which, giving him a name like that lands him a pretty good chance of being in an alien movie, if you know what I'm saying. And we are done, folks. That is how you make some pretty decent Sonic fan characters. Good proportions, fresh designs, balanced colors, the whole works. They look like they're ready to be given their own stories and everything. I certainly hope this helped you, who like making fan characters, to get set on the right direction with this concept. I mean, obviously there's concepts I haven't really covered yet, like backstories, affiliations, who they should be shipped with. Though to be fair, I honestly don't really get too involved with Sonic ships. Except for one... What? Come on! November is Silvey's month! You can't escape it! But in all seriousness, based on what you guys saw in this video, feel free to take a stab at drawing your own fan character the good way, and not the cheap recolor way. Hey, speaking of good quality stuff, 
I drew Fanor of the Wolf instead of the Narwhal, if you want to see that. Okay. What exactly do you have? Well, let's see. The first one is, uh, uh, the wolf. I drew the wolf in a swimsuit. <laughs>